Hey guys, Andy here with Galen at GNR Diesel. Uh, we say we've always been trying to come out with new parts for you guys. So we have part number, or new part number, 24 and 25 for this year alone. We're focusing more on some 6.7 Power Stroke parts. So we have the new 6.7 Power Stroke CP4 Bypass Kit, as well as the filter housing for the 6.7 Power Stroke. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that and our design, how we came up with it, and how it'll benef benefit your 6.7 power strokes. So I'll let Galen talk a little bit about it here. Yeah, so basically, um, CP4 Bypass Kit is something that's been around for a while. A um, couple different companies that have them on the market. Uh, basically, this is our variation after seeing what they've come up with. Um, some of the stuff we don't like about it have actually installed a couple other brands of kits over the years. And so it came up with this, um, what we feel is a better version of it. Pretty much all the CP4 bypass kits uh, serve the same purpose. Um, the magic happens in this block where we're separating the fuel, supplying fresh fuel to the top of the CP4 and not allowing the fuel that's in the bottom of the CP4 that's being used to lubricate the cam and the lifters, we're taking that fuel, returning it back to the tank. Um, virtually same as pretty much any other kit on the market. So on this block, um, this is what we call the sensor block. The factory uh, fuel supply line will have either one sensor or two sensors in it, depending on the year of the 6.7 power stroke. Uh, so what we have is a port for uh, one sensor here, the other sensor back here. So the sensor that threads into here um, is the temp sensor, and it is not on all of the 6.7 power strokes. So we supply a plug for this. Um, depending on your truck, if it does not have that sensor, you'll install the plug here. Um, if it does remove the plug, you won't use it, and you'll have a sensor in this port and in the port here. So we actually have the stainless supply line uh, custom made for our, our kit here. Um, the banjos, the banjo bolts, uh, we machine all that stuff in house. And we did that because rubber lines on top of a, an engine is never a good idea in our opinion. Um, over a period of time, they start to crack from all the heat, they dry rot. Um, I mean, they're gonna spring leaks and Oh, yeah. <laughs> last place you want a fuel leak, if at all possible, is on top of the engine, especially in a 6 7 power stroke where the exhaust manifolds are in the valley of the engine. So, I mean, you literally have exhaust manifold running, um, you know, along this side, along this side. That rubber hose leaks, um, it's just a massive fire hazard. So, this kit, um, like I said, ut utilizes all stainless line, all aluminum uh, machine parts. Uh, just to make sure that you have a leak-free part um, that lasts the life of your truck um, without issues. So that's always our goal. I mean, we're always working on new parts, uh, taking designs that have already been on the market, uh, putting our own twist on them, trying to improve them, um, even our own parts. I mean, we, we come up with parts years down the road after feedback from customers, stuff that we see that we can improve, we make changes to those. Um, so in this kit, not only do we have the stainless line that we have uh, custom made for this application, uh, we machine these banjos in-house, all out of stainless steel, but then we have the banjo bolts uh, that we make as well, and they have an O-ring that goes under the head of the bolt to seal one side of the banjo, then we use the metal bonded uh, sealing washers on the other side. So again, creates that leak free seal that you know is gonna stay that way for a long period of time. That's the main thing we're always trying to do. We're trying to be innovative and create less problems down the road for you guys when you're going through your builds or just your daily drivers. We wanna keep the longevity of your vehicles going continuously. For sure. So yeah, that's our main difference with RCP4 bypass is the steel uh, line so a lot of other guys they'll use like the braided stainless hose lines as Galen said as well as the rubber hose which that creates problems obviously as we know 
Yeah, I mean, early on, um, one of the first kits on the market was uh, you had the factory steel line that you had to literally cut and make a compression connection on um, where you're, you're relying on a customer to cut that steel line, not get any metal contaminants into the fuel system. Uh, this kit is 100% bolt in. Your factory supply line from the, the engine mounted filter connects right on our quick connect here. Uh, just it's 100% drop in. Um, on the block here where the intake plenum comes down in the turbo, uh, we've tried to design that to avoid having to grind on the intake plenum at all. Uh, try to get, you know, do as good as we could on fitment there. So, Galen, go ahead and talk a little about a little bit about the filter housing here. Yeah, so the return filter, again, something that's, you know, it's not, you know, not rocket science. It's not something, you know, new and crazy. Um, but again, a, a product that we saw a ton of room for improvement. Um, uh, the biggest thing is attaching it to the firewall with a self-tapping screw. Um, there, there's kits like that on the market that it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, if I've got an $80,000 truck and somebody runs a self-tapping screw into the firewall to be able to install something like this, like I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. It's um, the last thing you want to do. <laughs> so again, um, try to kind of come up with something that works better. Uh, this particular kit, the return filter, uh, again, after, after this does its job, uh, is returning all the contaminated fuel from the failed CP4 back to the tank. The idea of the return filter is to stop those contaminants from getting into the tank. Mm -hmm. So instead of having this mounted in the engine bay, um, where it's already congested I and mean, there's already no room, especially on a completely stock truck, I mean, they're packed full um, just from the factory. So we decided we would mount this uh, on the frame by the factory uh, fuel conditioning module. So uh, basically on the dri inside driver's side of the frame rail is the pump. It mounts inside the frame rail. Factory filter is right here. This mounts onto the guard of the mm -hmm. factory uh, fuel conditioning module. And so basically you have your, your uh, primary supply filter here. The return filter is right here. Um, super easy to connect uh, this this guy here literally just attaches and loops the fuel right back into the factory lines after it's run through the filter. So there's no um, there's no cutting, there's no splicing. I mean, it, it's, it's that simple. Um, again, just something that we tried to uh, look at what's out there um, from our experience of installing some of this stuff and come up with something that mm -hmm. we feel is a better product, set up better uh, long-term for customers so that mm -hmm. they can install something like this and have confidence in, um, in what they install and not have issues down the road with it. For sure, because we all know the 6.7 power stroke CP4s are not the greatest and usually prone to failure, so. Yeah, this is what it is, not, you know, Unfortunately, yeah. there's, it is what it is. It's not a, there's not enough room to be able to do a CP3 conversion like you can on mm -hmm. Duramax. So uh, this is the next best thing. Um, and like I said, just, we feel like we've taken what's on the market already and made it better, uh, which is essentially what it's all about. Um, you either come up with new ideas, um, all new products, or take stuff that's already out there and, and make it better. Um, mm -hmm. Competition within the market gives the, the end user a better product. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, if you guys have any questions about our CP4 bypass kit or any other products that we make, go ahead and give us a call. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our videos. Sure. So thanks again. You guys have a good day.